Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today we'll be filming a bit of a different video. It's early on a uh, weekday morning and I thought I would film a little bit of a review slash first impressions of a new foundation that I bought. So I've always used liquid foundations but I bought this Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Stick Foundation in the shade 120 Vanilla. I thought I would give this a go. It was 9 99 from Boots. And I thought I would give it a go and film it for you and then update you throughout the day on how long it wears, what the finish is like, if it flakes off, if it goes dry, oily, whatever. So I will apply this now for you and then I'll update you again in a few hours when I've done the rest of my makeup and you can see what the finish is like and what it looks like with makeup on top of it and also how it lasts throughout the day. So I always apply my foundation before any concealer, I've applied moisturiser as I always do so it's not unfair in any way. I'm also going to apply primer to one side of my face so we can see the difference between primed and non-primed, see if it makes any difference to the wear or how it applies. So I'm going to apply my MAC primer now and then I'll apply the foundation. So I suppose I'm just going to swipe it. Onto my skin, it feels really soft to apply, it's not stiff at all. It's like proper creamy. So that's good. I'm not having to like push really hard, I'm just literally like gliding it across my skin. So I feel like that's enough for now. I'm also not sure what the coverage is on this foundation because it doesn't actually say like that it's full coverage. <laughs> it's full coverage, medium coverage or whatever. So I'm going to take my sponge now that I've dampened under the tap. I'm just going to bounce it in. I don't know if this would be to do. Or what I'm using a buffing brush would be. Okay, it seems to be blending. As a brand, I really do like Revlon. So if I don't like this, it's not because I don't like the brand. It's just the product. <laughs> It might not work for my skin type, it might not last long on me because I have got a little bit of drier skin, I don't know. It might work completely different for you but I just thought this would be like a bit of a different video to test out a different kind of product. I just find these quite interesting as well, like when I watch them I really like Shan XO's ones and also Carti. I like her foundation reviews, um, I like to see how it lasts in different skin types and also a lot of different YouTubers also got different skin types so watching a few different people tends to be the best way to do it. I'm also looking for a new foundation for my prom so I've been watching loads of videos of um, people testing out the Too Faced Born this way because I feel like that would be a good one. Okay so far it's blending quite well. It hasn't got amazing coverage, but I feel like that's not too bad. The colour match seems okay as well. Okay guys, so I've finished with foundation now. I feel like it looks quite good so far. I'm quite happy with the way it looks. Not sure about this lip colour, but that's not the point of this video. I'm doing this sort of a vloggy style because that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the video to give you an update. But so far, so good. My concealer has creased a lot, but that's the concealer, not the foundation. But yeah, it blended really well. It, The colour match was good. They have a very wide range of colours as well. So yeah, so far so good. Okay, so it's been about four hours since I applied the foundation. And I must say, it is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna stand with the light here. I feel like you can see it really well. And it looks really flawless still. Um, it's faded around my nose a little bit, but I wipe my nose and stuff like that, so that's my fault. Not the foundation's fault, but I think it looks really, really nice. It hasn't oxidised or anything, so it's still the same colour as my neck. And I feel like the products that I put on top, like concealer and that, blended into it really nicely. So, so far, again, it's a big thumbs up from me, but I'll update you again in a few more hours and see if anywhere else has faded, and I'll try and be as fair as possible. <laughs> also, when applying the foundation, I didn't feel like one side was harder or easier than the other even though I only put primer on one side I didn't feel like it made really much of a difference so if you don't use primer then I feel like this would still be fine for you hi guys so it's been a total of 10 hours since I applied the foundation 
and it feels very dry now. My skin feels very dry now and I have very dry skin anyway. So I don't know if that's because of my skin type or whether it's just because I've worn it for so long. And yeah, it's just not looking great right now. On camera it still looks so good, like flawless and everything. But the whole of my face is smudged. That might just be me with my dry skin, I don't know. But I think this would be much better for oily skin. Um, so in the summer, this I would definitely get so much use out of this because I'm a lot more oily in the summer. But for the winter months, I think I'll stick to my liquid foundations. But overall, I think this is a really good foundation, definitely worth the money. I would definitely recommend the bear. I would definitely recommend this for more oily combination type skin as opposed to my dry skin. But yeah, if you want to check it out, then I'll leave the link to it down below. I hope you enjoyed this different kind of video. And I'll see you soon. Bye.